a symmetrical parabolic curve is a vertical curve in which the distance from PVC to PVI is equal to the horizontal distance of PVI to PVT. So here, if this distance is L over 2, this distance at the right side of the curve is also L over 2, making the whole length of the curve equal to L. So these are the tangent grade lines. So you have your G1, you have your G2. It is on a descending grade, so we make it negative. This height from PVT up to here is equal to G1 or G2 multiplied by L over 2 negative for its a descending grade while well, this distance is G1 multiplied by L over 2 so the sum of the two distances are G1 minus G2 times L over 2. So let's um, define the formula. So we have your H or the vertical offset of the parabola h is equal to the length of the curve l over 8 multiplied by g1 minus g2 if we have here a point and we are going to look for the value of its corresponding vertical distance y we also have the corresponding horizontal distance x using the square of parabola we have y is to x squared equals h is to l over 2 squared to solve for the location of the highest or the lowest point of a parabola we have formula for the distance near PVC and for the distance near PVT. Let us say your highest point is located here. We have point A. So if this is your highest point, this is the corresponding distance, let's call this S1 and this is S2. We have S1 or the distance near PVC. So if S1 equals G1 L over G1 minus G2. We also have S2 or the distance 
near PVT with the formula S2 equals G2L over G2 minus G1. To further understand the application of these formulas, we will solve a sample problem. The sample problem reads as a descending grade of 4.2% intersects an ascending grade of 3% at stationing 12 plus 325 at elevation of 14.2 meters. These two grades are to be connected by a 260 meter vertical parabolic curve. A reinforced concrete culvert pipe with overall diameter of 105 cm is to be constructed with its top below the subgrade. What will be the invert elevation of the culvert? So to solve the problem, we have to draw the figure cor correctly based on the given. So it says that we have a descending grade of 4.2%. So this will be your G1. So let's say this is your descending grade of 4.2%. So let's put negative and an ascending grade of 4.2%. So you have here your curve this is your PVI PVT and PVC so notice that the curve is a sag curve because we have a G1 of negative and G2 of positive sign it says that PVA is located at stationing 13 plus 325 and an elevation. So this point has an elevation of 14.2 meters. Now, A reinforced concrete culvert pipe with overall diameter of 105 centimeters is to be constructed with its top 30 centimeters below the subgrade. So in a situation like this, we usually place the culvert pipe on the lowest point of the curve or below the lowest point of the curve. So let us say we have the lowest point here. So we have here the culvert with a diameter of 1.05 meters and this is the depth of 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters below the subgrade. So let's enumerate the other element. We have our, the H or vertical offset of the parabola. So, what will be the invert elevation of the culvert? So, this point will be your invert elevation. So, this elevation will be your invert elevation. So, in order to find the invert elevation, we have to look for or to find the elevation of the lowest point. Let's call this point A. Okay, so we have to solve for the elevation of point A 
then subtract the depth of the cover and diameter of the pipe culvert. So how are we going to solve for the elevation of A? So if you would take a look at the figure, we have here given elevation of 14.24 PVI. So in order to arrive at the elevation of A, we have to solve for this height from here up to here. So we have this height. Let's call this H1 and this elevation from this point, point A, up to the forward tangent. We have this. This elevation is the elevation y1. So, by inspection, the invert elevation is equal to elevation of PVI plus H1 plus Y1 minus 0 0.3 minus 1.05 So we have a given elevation of PVI but we don't have yet the value of H1 and Y1 so let's try to solve it one by one. So we have H1 equals, so we have to get the value of this distance, this one, and also this distance. So what is this distance and what is this distance from PVI to A and from A to PVT? We can solve for the distance by locating the lowest point, which can be solved by S2 equals G2L over G2 minus G1. So that would be equal to point. 0, 3 times L so the length is 260 meters so we have here 260 so G2 times length of 260 over G2 minus G1 now we have S2 equals so we have point zero three multiplied by two sixty over point zero three plus point zero forty two equals 108.33 meters so we have the distance from A to PVT of 108.33 so if this is 108.33 knowing that PVI to PVT is one half of the entire length this is this distance from PVI to A is equal to 130 minus 108.33 equals 21.67 meters. Now, we have this dimensions. We can solve for the value of H1. So, H1 is equal to 
the grade three percent multiplied by the length of twenty one point sixty seven. So we have point zero three times twenty one point sixty seven we have 0 0.65 meters now we have to solve for the value of y by using the square property of parabola we have y sub 1 over 108.33 squared equals we don't have the value of h yet h over 130 squared so what's the value of h so h is equal to l over 8 times g1 minus g2 equals 260 over 8 multiplied by G1 minus G2. So we have H equals 260 over 8 times G1 minus G2. And that is equal to 2.34 meters so we are only concerned with the magnitude of 2.34 so h is equal to 2.34 meters now we can substitute h is 2.34 so y sub 1 equals 2.34 multiplied by 108.33 squared over 130 squared. So we have 1.62 meters as the value of y1. So we already have the elevation of PVI, H1. Y1, so we can solve for the invert elevation. So from here, invert elevation is equal to 14.2 plus H1 plus Y1 minus 0.3 minus 1.05 so we have an invert elevation of 14.2 plus 0 0.65 plus 1.62 minus 0.3 minus 1.05 so let's check so we have an invert elevation of 15.12 meters and that is the final answer to the problem